Hi everyone. Today I have something super exciting to show. I've taken a bunch of time to learn it and it's the Canvas feature inside of Zoho CRM. So this is a pretty comprehensive feature, one of the most impressive features I've ever seen Zoho roll out. It allows you to customize the look and feel of every record in your CRM specific to your business needs. And so in this video, I'm going to go through how to set it up, how to customize it, and some of the do's and don'ts and watch out. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. And also, I have my office hours. If you haven't heard about those, it's a time for you to meet me virtually. It's a group setting so you can learn from others. And I'll be talking about Canvas in it. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into it. So how you're gonna access this feature is you're gonna go to settings in the top right and your, your CRM settings should look like this. And there should be a new icon or new text beside the word canvas under customization. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now I don't have a canvas set up. I'm gonna kind of walk you through uh, how to set it up. I'm gonna take a bit of a shortcut and I think it, it's useful for the video because then we'll just spend the whole time setting up little borders and colors and stuff. So when I go here, I'm gonna hit create record detail. And I should mention as always, Zoho has really good content as well. So you can watch their little video here. This is more of a hype video kind of showing you what you can do. And then the help article is more actionable help. So I'm gonna hit create record. I'm gonna do it in the lead module for us and it'll ask you what layout. Uh, that's only really if you have multiple layouts. So not all of you will see this, so I'll hit create. Okay, so now it brings you into this page. And as I mentioned in the intro, what Canvas allows you to do is customize the look of a record inside of the CRM. So up until recently, every record in Zoho CRM looked the same. You would have kind of some details at the top, like when you actually click on a record and go into it, you'd have details along the top, then you'd have all your fields and you could put them in little sections, but that's about it. You couldn't make them vertical or colorful or uh, move them around on the page. And so Canvas allows you to do just that. And so if I hit create blank template, it'll just give me a blank slate. For the purpose of this video, I think it'll be more informative to hit one of these templates. So you can see here, you're getting a flavor of what can be done. So you can put the photo of the person here, their name, address details. On the right, you could have meetings and then tasks so you can separate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this template by hitting select. I'd encourage you to do it too. It's it's honestly a pretty big shortcut. Zoho has done a really good job creating a bunch of templates for us to use. So now we have some key elements that you're looking at here. In the middle of the page, you'll see what your canvas will look like. And on the left-hand side are all the elements you can put in it. So the way Zoho does this, they split it into like four categories. Number one is data. So data, it's what it sounds like. It's the fields that you set up in the back end of your CRM. As you can see here, first name, last name, full name, blah, blah, blah. What you can do with this is actually drag them into the elements. So elements are like containers or like a file folder or however you want to think about it. And then data is, goes inside of those. So you can see here, this is an element. Same with this. Right? And so you can then take the data and throw it into an element. And it's very easy to do. You simply just click, you drag it over. You put it wherever you want. And when you click on any of these fields, you then get the style element. So you can change the font size, you can change the color, you can change the uh, boldness or italicize, etc. You can also change the alignment. And so you can imagine here how customizable this can be. You can also always delete the field. So what has been done here is some elements have been created. And so I'll, I'll recreate this note one for the purpose of this demo. So I'm gonna right click, delete, delete. So that's gonna delete the whole thing. So what you would do here is you would go elements, you would go section, you drag that over. You then make it a certain size, right? And it's just click and drag as you're seeing here. And now maybe what I wanna do here is data and I'm gonna type notes. So you could see here's the notes, right? So I'm gonna drag that over. And so now you see notes are in here. Maybe I'll make that the full screen and shrink this. And besides note, or beside notes, maybe I'll wanna put the lead owner. So I can drag that over. And maybe because our company really runs or relies heavily on the owner of records, I wanna make the lead owner size 30 font. And I wanna make it red. So you can kind of get the idea here of how easy it is to use 
and how many different features you can use within it. So elements are what you're going to be playing with a lot. You're going to be creating certain elements. Sections are very popular. What you see here is the tabbed approach. So that's this one here. So this is tabbed and you can see it sorts everything into tabs like this, right? And you can add new tabs just by hitting this plus here. And then it'll allow you to add more options to the tab. Now with the tab structure, you can add related lists. So if you're in your normal CRM on the left hand or your non canvas Zoho on the left hand side, you'll see related lists. That's what these tabs are. So instead of being vertical, you can make them horizontal and you can tab them. A lot of people have been asking for this. There's a lot of other CRMs out there that do it this way. And now Zoho can. So step one, make the tab element. Step two, add related lists by hitting this plus into the tabbed element. And then you're off to the races again with clicking on it, styling it, et cetera. Different colors, different sizes, different fonts, right? So that's the same thing here. On the left-hand side here, this is an element, right? And then you're gonna put into the element, the open meetings, element, open tasks, element, upcoming actions, right? And so this is the basic premise of Canvas. And once you save it, so I'll name this the lead Save. Now, the last thing you're going to want to do is the canvas assignment. So this is important. This is kind of basically like who's allowed to see the canvas, right? It goes by profiles in your CRM. So if you've made certain profiles, you can say, okay, an admin by default sees the YouTube lead canvas. So when they boot up a lead tomorrow or when they next log in, they will see what you just built. Or you can say standard view and that's just the normal Zoho. Now at any point, any of your users can toggle back to standard view. At the bottom of the page, if you're in a record, you can actually toggle back to standard. So don't feel like this is completely binary, like on or off. However, when you roll this out, it will default to the canvas you just built. Okay, so be careful with this uh, because obviously if you roll this out, people will see a different look and feel. So that's just an FYI. A couple other things I'll talk about in here, reusable components. So you can start creating components that you can reuse, right? And so you can lock them or you can add it to a reusable component. So let's say you make something and you're like, I really want to use that in other canvases I make. You can right click, add reusable components and it'll go in here. Now again, cool thing from Zoho, they actually have a bunch of templates or ones you can choose from, right? So they have made a bunch that'll give you a big shortcut. Right. And so I'd encourage you to use that. You can click it again. You just drag it over and then you start moving it around, reshaping it. And so the end goal in this is to give you a very customized version of your data. You're no longer restricted by where fields lie or how big they are, or what color they are, etc. The last piece I'll just touch on briefly is there is a client script section that you can actually embed into a component. And the client script actually allows you to run code while you're doing stuff in the canvas. That's not going to be covered in today's video. If you want me to make a separate video on that, please do comment below and I'd be happy to do so. But for today, I wanted to give a high level explanation on what a canvas is, the benefits of it and how to roll it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'd love to see you in my office hours and talk more canvas.